Hey guys, Chris again, Super 73. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your brake pads on your two piston and four piston brakes. Check this next slide to see which brake pads work for you. We're working on a Metallic Aluminum S2. Um, comes with two piston brakes and we're gonna replace them with the ceramic two piston brake pads. So the easiest thing to do is you start off by taking off the caliper bolts. It's a five millimeter Allen. Also, while you're doing this, just make sure the bike is upright and stable. It's kind of a pain in the butt when it's not. And on the S2s, when you take the bolts out, sometimes there's little washes in between the mount and the caliper. Just make sure that you don't lose those because you need those to make sure everything lines back up. So just make sure when you're taking the bolt out, you don't lose these little washers right here. If you lose them, you're gonna have a bad day putting it all back together. So once you get the caliper bolts out, you can go ahead and pop off the caliper. And then what I do is if your brake pads are worn out, the pistons are gonna be pushed out. So you take a fancy spreader tool like this, or you can use like a flathead screwdriver. You just push it in there and you just wiggle it back and forth and you push the pistons back in so you can put the brake pads in. Once you get the caliper off, it's important to remember not to squeeze any of the brake levers to not push the pistons out and then Again, you'll have a bad day trying to push them back in. Once you get the caliper off and you get the pistons pushed in, you take a pair of needle nose pliers and there's a safety pin with your pliers and you gotta try and bend it down. It can be kind of stubborn sometimes. And once that's bent down, you can pull the safety pin out. Once the safety pin is out, you can take your finger and you can push the pads out and they slide right out. Inside the package, you'll have new pads, new retainer clip, and a new safety pin. It's important to note not to get any dirt or grease on the brake pads or your brakes are gonna make tons of noises and it's just not fun riding. So once you get the pads out, you take your new pads with the retainer clip in between them and just slide it in. And then once those are in, once those are in, you can take your new safety pin, slide that in all the way, take your new nose pliers and bend up half the safety pin so it stays in. And then what I like to do is once the new pads are in, you can take your flathead screwdriver or your fancy spreader tool and just get in there, give it a little wiggle just to make sure you have room for putting the new caliper back on. Once you get your pads in, you can slide the caliper back onto the brake rotor. And this is where those very important spacers come into play. You put your spacer down between the mount and the caliper and then you can install the bolts. And I start them finger tight just because you have to line everything up. So once you get the bolts finger tight, you spin the rear wheel and then squeeze the brake lever. Probably do it a few times to help bed in the brakes. Once you're done with that, you can tighten the bolts up all the way. So let's get started. First thing, just like the two pistons, you have two five millimeter Allens, you gotta take off. But unlike the two pistons, there's no spacers underneath between the caliper and the mount, so you don't have to worry about those or losing them. Once you get the two bolts out, you can pop the caliper off. Once you get the caliper off, this is where your T15 Torx comes into play. You have to remove the retainer bolt this time. Once you get the retainer bolt loose, there's a little clip on the back side. You just have to try and pop off, super tiny. Be careful you don't lose that because you will need it. Once you get the clip off, you can take out the retainer bolt completely. 
then just like the two pistons before you pull the pads out take your spreader tool or a flathead screwdriver and give it a good wiggle back and forth to put the pistons back in the caliper and once you do that you can push the brake pads out so as you can see these pads are pretty worn so it's a good thing we're replacing them Go ahead and open up the packaging for our ceramic brake pads for four piston calipers. Just like the two piston brakes, you wanna make sure not to get any dirt or grease on your brake pads. Your brakes are gonna squeak and it's not gonna be fun to ride at all. And once you get the old pads out, you take the new pads with the retainer clip and slide them into the caliper. Once you get the pads in, you want to reuse the retainer bolt to lock those pads in place. You take your T15 Torx and tighten that little bolt down. So once you get the retainer bolt in, you take the little clip and you pop that guy back on the backside like so. One last time, again, take the spreader tool or a flathead screwdriver, put it between the brake pads, give it a little wiggle to give yourself some room. And you can put the caliper back over the rotor. And you can take both your five millimeter bolts and you put them in finger tight. So just like the two pistons, you take the rear wheel, give it a spin, pull the brake lever, help just set the brake pad. And once you did the spin and set the, the brake pads, you take your five millimeter Allen and tighten everything down. Once you get done with the rear, if you need to do your fronts, it's a rinse and repeat of the process, same tools apply you're good to go. So once you're done installing your brake pads, take the bike outside, accelerate, and then come to a near stop about eight times or so, and you're all done. For more information, you can scan the QR code on the back of your brand new brake pad package.